Good morning. Happy uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day to you guys while we're observing it today. Um, I hope that everybody is enjoying a day off if you have off or a good day at work if you're at work. So I want to just jump right on into today's video. Uh, today is the official launch of the reset. If you've been following me for this past week, you'll know that I just launched this bundle. It contains five videos and an ebook. And in this package, I'm talking about the various systems that affect, that influence, that govern the spiritual world. And we know that those things directly impact the natural world that we live in. So um, today I'm going to be talking about the mind of Christ. And this is a very important system to understand because if you don't understand this one it makes all of the other ones work and the mind of Christ um, is actually the way that the Lord thinks it's the way that his mind operates and if we aren't hooked up to the way that he thinks it's going to be impossible for us to walk in his ways because we won't understand how he makes decisions we won't understand how he sees things and um, if you've been Looking at my social media at all this week, I've been talking a lot about vision, and vision will ultimately determine how and what you see. And so if your vision is off, your sight is going to be off. In other words, if I perceive something, but I haven't actually saw that correctly, you can see incorrectly. The Lord said to uh, said to, to multiple prophets, but for example, he said, what do, what do you see growing here, Jeremiah? And he said, I see an almond tree. And he said, you saw correctly. So there was an opportunity for him to not see correctly. And that sight is going to shift everything else off. So if you think that you're walking towards a certain goal, but you're not taking the correct way because you don't understand that system uh, completely or perhaps there's another system interfering again I talked about I believe it was um on Friday the systems of these world of this world where disinformation and misinformation are constantly going on so you might believe something to be true but that's actually a false belief because that thing isn't isn't truth and so understanding the way that this uh, the way that the mind of Christ works it's an actual system that you can be tapped into that you should be completely hooked in with after you are born again and in the ebook I discuss this much further and that specific video talks more about how to be hooked up with this system and how to completely renew your mind but I want to bring up a, a Bible verse really quickly a scripture here Romans 12 verse 2 it says do not be conformed to the systems of this world and the word world there is Elon in Greek which means actually uh, like age or this period of time the system in which the world works is actually being described there and it's saying don't be conformed to those scriptures but be renewed by the renewing of your mind and um, the way that you do this is by rejecting you know the the old way that you have thought the old systems um, even the old information that you have come into agreement with that isn't actually true and again you, you can only measure you can only under, understand or identify a counterfeit if you have the actual thing the the real one so that you can actually look at that and say this is the uh, the standard and this isn't measuring up and so this is why it's very important about renewing your mind and being hooked up to the system the system that is the mind of Christ again the way that God thinks about things you need to be able to know how he thinks in order to understand which way to walk which decision to make and things like that these have very practical implications for all of our lives now think about um, all of the connections that you have in your life all of the people that you are connected to whether that's family members it's your pastor it's your church uh, congregation whoever it is that you're connected to now think about the implications that can be had if somebody is saying that they are hooked up to the correct system that they have the mind of Christ that they're thinking about something correctly and yet that thing is is the counterfeit that isn't the right way to go about thinking that isn't the way that the Lord thinks and you can have an entire um, 
atmosphere, a whole metron of people being pulled and shifted in a different direction. And that's why this is so important to understand and to be really um, aware that this is a full system that you need to be um, hooked into because this will implement your spirit, soul, and bodily health in every dimension, in every way that you, you think about things. There isn't, again, I say again, there isn't a single thing that God is neutral on where he says, I just don't have an opinion on that. There's always a way that he thought about something that he, the way that he views something, there is zero neutral ground in the entire universe. There's nothing that is in the middle. It's not either positive or negative that it isn't good or evil. There isn't such a thing. And so understanding this, uh, when, when we put out in the mind of Christ, when we have our minds renewed, when we are completely hooked up with his way of thinking, we're going to be able to have the deeper things revealed to us because we're going to have the capacity. You understand that our natural minds do not have the capacity to think about things the way that God does. We just cannot do it. We we don't have that ability. It's through our spirit that all of these things happen. The renewing of your mind, which is part of your soul, happens when your spirit is reborn, when you are connected and have the available access to all of these systems. When somebody is not reborn, they do not have access to the mind of Christ. They cannot think like God because they their spirit is not awakened to him. They're, it is not alive to him. It is not hearing the still small voice. It is not uh, being led by Holy Spirit. So it's impossible for their soul to ever be reached. And without understanding that, you're going to continue to make decisions or uh, um, walk or make associations into places that are not God's best for you. Everybody's destinies were written down in books in heaven before they ever came to earth. And if you, you can be doing something that's very good. You can be, again, I talk about this more in the ebook, but um, you can be very productive in something. You can be successful by worldly standards, but that doesn't mean that you actually did your purpose. That doesn't mean that you fulfilled the call of God on your life. And you can only know what that call is and understand how to walk that out and understand how to implement that call, how that looks for you specifically, unless you have the mind of Christ, because it's only that that was all thought of, that was all built from God's mind. And we have to be hooked up to him um, completely with this system, this system of thinking the way that God thinks. If we want to be able to have that kind of impact, if we want to be able to to have the um, the full the full effects that we were designed and created and sent to earth in, to do, to implement, to rearrange. And again, this is all about taking territory for the kingdom of God. And if we don't know how to uh, walk with the Lord because we don't understand what he's thinking or why he's leading us this way, again, all of these systems overlap. And I talked a little bit about this the other day where there needs to be a basis and the basis for all of this is love pure god love and that love is the foundation of all of these other things that are built on it you see faith hope and love right but the greatest of these is love and so if you don't have love your faith has no place to land your hope has no place to land and so with all of these other systems when we understand them right because surrender really has to do with trust and I talked about that on Wednesday the system of surrender which is also the system of authority it can't be implemented to its fullest without understanding that the basis of all of this is love it's love for God it's love for the things that he loves and we would know about the things that he loves through the system of the mind of Christ. It's love for other people. It's love to see the kingdom expanding. And again, this isn't like we're just nice to everybody. We just permit everybody to do everything and think everything that they want to think and do whatever they want to do. That isn't love. That's such a counterfeit. Uh, but when we understand that, um, that's why everything has to be built in love, like the true foundation of love. And when we understand that and how that looks, love looks like having boundaries with people who are just there to destroy everything that, that um, God is trying to build. You understand it looks like setting, uh, saying no, this is right, and no, this is um, incorrect when things are going the opposite direction, when the systems of this world are trying to take over. And so we have to have that full um, revelation of what love is because it's the basis, it's the foundation that all of these other systems are wrapped around. And so again, the mind of Christ and thinking like him 
we can get into other systems, we can get hooked into the system of disinformation or misinformation when we doubt, when we don't have complete trust or complete confidence in Jesus. Those things can cause us to be hooked into demonic systems. And uh, again, I just say this because it's so important to understand that you might believe things to be true that actually aren't true. They were misinformation, they were disinformation, and they had inklings, they had little sprinklings of truth in there. And so it was difficult for you to understand which was truth and which was the counterfeit. But when you are completely and totally hooked into the, the system of the mind of Christ, you won't think that way. This was demonstrated perfectly through Jesus and his life on earth. He never, not one time, thought about somebody, thought about a situation, a circumstance, any type of issue um, in a way that was counterfeit to God, even when there were legal backings for what his accusers were saying to him. Many times the Pharisees came to him and said, you know, you're not supposed to do X, Y, and Z on the Sabbath. You can't heal on the Sabbath. You can't pick grain on the Sabbath. You know, you can't be doing these things on the Sabbath. And Jesus knew that the Sabbath was created to serve man, not man for the Sabbath, right? And he even said that. And so it's being able to have these insights, these mysteries into the things that, uh, that are all around us that we may not have been ha able to withstand because there was still parts of our old mind that were trying to take root in us that we you know our old self was still trying to get us to see things to do things to act upon things in our old way but when we put on the mind of christ we're completely renewed we're, we are totally um uh hooked up to to the way that god thinks we are able to have his thoughts we are able to see what he thinks we are able to uh, withstand and uh, absorb the revelation that he wants to pour out on us so um, that's all I want to talk about today. I just wanted to uh, mention that it's one of the systems that is talked about in the reset, this bundle that I put together of videos and an ebook. And um, it is on sale now. It's officially launched, so you can get it. It's available for immediate download on my website. I put the link uh, to that in this um, in the title in the description of this video. So if you want to check that out, please do so. I am so excited for everybody who pre-ordered um, your emails with your packages should have gone out today. So um, I can't wait to hear feedback. I pray this blesses you all and I will talk to you again soon.